So I have to say it. This is totally insane. None of these people have drunk their God food. None of them are happy. They're all driving these insane armored vehicles at the speed of Cahoozies, miserable and making noise like crazy. Do not think for one second that this is normal. It is not normal for humans to drive these mechanical armored vehicles this much with this much noise and this much traffic and this much unhappiness inside of everyone. This is not normal. This is not God's dream for us, okay? <laughs> It is insane, and I'm here to prophesy against it. Once, pe once people by the masses get filled with the Holy Ghost and set free in Jesus' name, and they're drinking, they're drinking their abundant God food like the, the ancient Americans did before cars even existed, and those people were all happier than everyone today. This modern ruckus of mechanical motorized vehicles racing people sitting on their butts is absolute unhappiness and it's total misery and it's not normal. I am here as a prophet to tell before all hearing voices that it's not normal, okay? Human beings walking throughout the day Okay, like the, like they did in the Garden of Eden, that's normal. This entire insanity package of motorized vehicles everywhere and people that are totally discontent and totally unhappy and driving further, faster, it's all misery. I'll, I'll hit it home to you. I'm a beautiful person walking on my feet. These things are like curses in my day because they make huge amounts of noise. They're hideously nasty, hideously ugly, and it's, it's pure audio visual pollution. To me, the beautiful person that's walking in obedience to God, do not think this is normal. Just because there's hideous amounts of silly people doing it does not mean that it's blessed and it does not mean that it's God's best, okay? Go back. The first thing you have to do is you have to get on the diet that I'm on so that you feel and know what happiness is. Pure cocoa powder with water in abundance, your God food. If everyone in the entire world went back to the blessed diet of the ancient American peoples before Columbus showed up, okay, <laughs> everyone would be stinking happy. Folks, go to Israel, you know, in the days of Moses. No one had a car. No one had any machinery. And everyone was happier and healthier because they were united in perfect love with God and blessed by God and walking everywhere, totally fit, no one overweight, pure joy, love in the tribe, just pure family, pure love and acceptance. <laughs> this entire modern mess of huge amounts of mechanical vehicles sailing down cement roads all the time in hyperabundance is completely unhappiness and completely unsatisfying and you don't have to be a part of it. You don't. <laughs> you can live a way happier life following God. And trust me, you'll probably live longer too. <laughs> Man, now, now I love having this video camera on me because whenever I run into anything in my day that I perceive to, to be just plain insane, and just plain a foolish choice that I see people performing, I turn on the video camera and I preach against it. <laughs> and I prophesy against it. I'm like, this is all madness, folks. <laughs> I'm like, it's all about your day. I'm like, I'm just saying. I'm like, yes, we know that we need vehicles to bring in food and all that stuff. But, um, anyways, okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you've got to be a big picture thinker. 
If everyone gets saved and filled with the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name, everyone drinks their abundant God and food, their, their abundant God food with water on a gluten-free diet, and everyone is therefore happier than they've ever been and healthier and has better weight control than they've ever had easily all day every day for their best maximum happiness. Guess what happens? Everyone is set free. Everyone's stinking happy. Everyone's filled with the Lord. And now everyone moves to all the most beautiful year-round, sunny, pleasant, tropical-like environments in the world. And people actually figure out how to live in close community known as tribe, which is God's true will for people. And guess what? The amount of motor vehicles in this world actually plummets. It naturally plummets for everyone's higher happiness. That is what I am here to prophesy. If and when the entire human race gets maximally set free and blessed in Jesus' name, motor vehicles, as you currently see them today, will plummet in the amount of use and need, so-called need for them. People will be way happier living, um, you know, living their days without touching a motor vehicle. That's what I'm here to say. And it's a way happier life than the current madness I see so many people caught up in. I'm here to tell you the truth and I'm here to prophesy at the same time.